Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek and welcome to my channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Today's topic is how to overcome learned helplessness. So what is learned helplessness? It is a belief on a deep, deep level inside you that no matter what you do, you cannot change the situation. No matter what you do, you cannot find a good job, you cannot make more money, you cannot have a normal relationship, you cannot have a good friends. No matter what you do, you cannot change your life. So where learn helplessness is coming from? In most cases, it's from the childhood. Uh, when you were a child, your parents, your nanny or other significant adult were telling you that you are not good enough, you are not fast enough, you are not smart enough, you're not clean enough. No matter what you do, you fail. And adults were pointing at those mistakes and saying, let me do it because you can. Let me do it because it's gonna take a long time for you. Let me do it because you don't understand. So at that point, you learn that no matter what you do, it's not good enough. No matter what you do, it's not gonna change anything. Uh, someone is always better, faster, smarter, so why bother? Why should you even try? So what to do in this situation? A lot of psychologists, uh, life coaches are uh, talking about positive thinking. So you have to think positive, you have to do affirmations, uh, you have to tell yourself that you can change your thoughts. It's not gonna work. It does not work. Why? Because you already learned how to be helpless. Every time when you're gonna tell yourself, no, I can, the brain inside you, you are not the brain, the voice inside you will tell you, uh-huh, sure, yeah, I already did that. So your brain is gonna search for the opportunity to fail. The positive thinking, in my personal opinion, is a really good thing, but not for the learned helplessness. So what can you do, how you can change this pattern, how you can retrain your brain? Um, I will tell you two options. So the first option is what you can do on your own. There are four important components in this method. Number one is every day uh, create a small list of 20 to 30 things what you did better than yesterday. For example, today I brushed my teeth better than yesterday. Today I made coffee better than yesterday. So train your brain every day to notice, to see what you do better. The second component, how to overcome uh, helplessness, is to talk to other people and ask them what you do best. Ask them what uh, are your best skills, what are your best qualities, what they think you do great. Uh, and you might be surprised, the more people you ask, the better understanding about yourself you will have. The third component, how to overcome helplessness, is to create three goals every day. It should be mini goals, like for example, today I want to go to gym, today I want to wash my car, today I want to go to bed 15 minutes earlier. So it should be doable goals, something small, but something that you can achieve. And do it every day, little by little. Show your brain that you can create a goal and you can achieve the goal. And the fourth component, how to overcome helplessness, is to stop comparing yourself to other people. Uh, at first, it might be not easy. Uh, for example, if you're at work and you see uh, how your co-worker is handling maybe a conversation with clients and you thinking, oh my God, he's so good at this. He's so much better than I. So when you have the, this thought, uh, try to continue it. For example, uh, he is great when he's talking to clients and I am great when I am uh, preparing papers for those clients. You will stop comparing, you will stop feeling yourself as a victim. I recommend to do all for those things uh, for at least 90 days. Do it every day and little by little you will see the results, I guarantee it. 
So the second option uh, that's more effective, it can be faster, but it's pricey, uh, is to find a mentor, is to find the life coach, is to find the psychologist who can help you to overcome your helplessness. Uh, a specialist can help you to create a specific exercises for you and a specialist will support you because there are different stages when uh, the person can fail and the specialist can prevent those uh, things and can help you to move on and overcome all the difficulties in the process. So two options on your own or with a specialist and of course there is a third option uh, do nothing and keep being a victim. And if you don't want to be a victim, check the links below this video. I will add the link uh, to another video how to talk to rude, assaulting, disrespectful people. How to stop disrespectful behavior in your life. Click thumbs up to this video, share it with your friends, share it with your co-workers, uh, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon. Write your comments below, ask your questions, and your question might be the topic of the next video. Thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.